Next, uh, let's discuss the default loss value that we can expect from the random initialization. So our number of classes were three, and then at a random initialization, um, yeah, it's uh, approximately the same as just a random guessing, where we have the um, same probability value of 33%, 33%, and so on, right? So in this case, regardless of any uh, ground truth class, and then uh, it will be, I mean, for any data items, uh, we can kind of expect the loss value as 33%, okay? Or it is like this, right? And then, yeah, if C was the number of classes, and then this is the um, initial loss value, and then we obtain log of C, right? And so, uh, if we use the um, log basis 2, and then if uh, C was 3, then it will be 1 point something. And if we have a four different classes, and then it will be just a 2 as the um, default loss value that we expect. So uh, when programming a deep learning stuff uh, for your own model, and then uh, if uh, you observe your loss value, but uh, that loss value should be approximately around these values. And uh, if it is a uh, too big or small compared to this value, and then uh, it means uh, uh, your code has something wrong. So in your initialization of the um, parameter or uh, your normalization of the data might have something wrong. Okay. And also similarly, uh, in the case of uh, this uh, max margin or SVM loss, and then uh, the class scores will roughly be the same uh, when the um, uh, when doing the random initialization. And then suppose our class scores were all five among these uh, th uh, three different classes. And then uh, suppose our ground truth class was this guy, okay? And then this guy should be at least one greater than this guy so that we have zero uh, loss, right? But uh, yeah, they are roughly the same value. And so we have the loss as one and loss as one, right? So altogether, uh, in the case of random initialization, SVM loss will be approximately C minus one.